Hello, hello guys. Welcome to another vlog from a day in the life of a luxury concierge. If you don't know already, my name is Mario Moraes and I'm the Algarve Luxury Concierge. You can also find me in my Instagram uh, page that is also with the same name, Algarve Luxury Concierge. I put the link underneath, you can just go there and click. If it's your first time in here, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you in here. I work as a luxury concierge, but I also like to record to my channel and show some of the best things that I can do during my day or a visit. It's, it's, I like to show you uh, a little bit of my region and a little bit of my work. So if it's your first time, welcome. And I hope you can continue watching me. And I have already more than 80 videos. You can see one or two or the ones that you like. Uh, and it's a pleasure to have you in here. So today I'm in Morgado do Quintão Vineyard. I was invited by Philippe Vasconcelos, he is, he is the owner. He found me through an uh, Instagram page and he invited me to come here to a, a wine and food tasting. And during this video I will show you uh, the food, the wines, I explain a little bit of the wines he's talking, the laughs. Uh, we we will go around the vineyard and show you the grapes and all of this area so i think it's really interesting and i had lots of fun doing it so i hope that you like it please continue with me and enjoy make your comments don't forget to like it's really important that you like the video if you really like it um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and come with me let's visit this vineyard and taste these amazing wines and uh, food from the Algarve it's maybe for these guys because they don't know much about us but uh, so the estate has been in my family for about 300 years and just two years ago my mother died and so I inherited the estate and uh, a little bit before she died we decided she kind of um, she lost it. Two things. She basically said, don't take care of this, it's too much work, you live in Lisbon, it's going to be super messy, so don't do it. Um, but on the other hand, she's like, oh, maybe you should, you should make wine one day. So, so basically, we launched a, a wine brand. Uh, it's going to be our third vintage, and um, you guys are going to try our second vintage. So, I think we have all our wines, but we have the red, the, we have Clarit, Pallet and the whites. So we'll try the wines that are currently in the market right now. And then I'll show you, although I won't show it to the YouTube camera right there, <laughs> no. but I'll show you what the new labels are going to look like. Uh, Algo Brown, this one here. It's really typical Algarvian really starter good. that you probably normally get mm -hmm. in restaurants. Same as the carrots and then Fabrice contributes. It's the season for Fabrice. And can I make a confession? <laughs> okay, so my confession is I've never been to a wine tasting at Morgado Quintal. It's your first one? No, oh, my first one because can I, you live, vlog in, about I it? live in Lisbon. <laughs> yeah, I vlog about it. I live in Lisbon and Sada puts this together, so I, I, I decide that I'd have to come to one, right? Yeah. So I'm super impressed, I have to say. So if I book a wine tasting, <laughs> it'll be like this? It will be like this, yeah. but then outside, of course, yeah. or inside. Yeah, it depends on the weather. Depends on the weather, on the weather yeah. yeah. This is so beautiful. I came here a little bit because of people there. They are there talking, so I didn't want to interrupt. But Flip, the owner, is uh, explaining us a lot about the wines, the tradition, and uh, the grapes here for more than 200 years. Uh, so lots of tradition in the story of this this vineyard, uh, all that kind of things. It's really important that they explain. I will try that here, tell us a little bit more. But I wanted to show him. I want to show you this bottle. This is so beautiful and it's having a huge success here in the supermarkets because of the label. As you can see, it's not a, a, that's not a typical label that you are waiting for to see some letters and the brand and the name of the company. And then you have this blank, but it was nice. I could do this one. So this was not because they wanted to to not spend too much money or resources printing. <laughs> they had the, the ink to do it, but it's the way they think that it would be really pretty and to call attention of people because it looks like that is like kind of a mistake. 
that it was not printed well, but now it's like this and I like it and I want to know your opinion, what you think about this label. Would you do like this or... So nice. Then of course, in the back you have all the information about the grapes and the location and the alcohol volume and... So, you have it all here. And it's really, really beautiful bottle. I will also show you the other ones. But I want to know your opinion about this bottle. What do you think about this one? So nice, right? I like it. It's creativity. A blank thing. <laughs> no, but in, in, in the Caribbean, you, you, in the, the, it's a whole lot more about alcohol. At one, one point, you will hit a, hit a wall. Yeah, the ceiling. Like, okay, you want to get, get out. Yeah, you, you've seen it all. So when that happens, you come to the other. Well, yeah. No, we always wanted to go to Yolaka and to Yolaka, but we, 15 years ago, we, we were, were sleeping. Sure Maybe we were it he took too much wine. <laughs> he was, uh, he's waking up. <laughs> You can, you can talk about a lot of things because then I will put music in the back for some of these moments. <laughs> so when you are laughing it's good to be in the video because it looks like people are entertaining. I see one in real life. I know that they exist, of course, but really big hole. So nice. This is the oldest wine yard. Another one here. Big hole. It's incredible. Another one here. <laughs> so many. Como é que se chama? Amêndoa. Amêndoa? <risos> que fofo. Amendoinha. É. Gostas da câmara? Gostas da câmara? Vais ter um... Se as patinhas molhadas, andaste na água. Vai estar no vídeo, amêndoa. Agora fica aqui. Agora vai-te sujar as calças. Não me sujas as calças. Que as minhas calças sujam-se logo. É tão fofinho. Mas amêndoa... A amêndoa é tão um nome tão giro. É, a amêndoa é giro. So his name is Almond. Translating. Está a perder o pelo agora, não é? Pois, é a altura. A minha cama também. Lá fora. Ela não gostou? Já está a chover tanto. Pois. Ela está para dentro, mas ela não. Vai. 
One out of five tourists. These on bottles the are so, so beautiful. We had a million tourists. One out of so beautiful. Out of they are so different. They just came to the distillery. Yeah. They just yeah. were curious. Oh, alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> the red, like, what? the rose, <laughs> what <do you> mean? <laughs> and the white. So you basically paid. The Negra Mole is the most, is like the queen of Algarvian grapes. Mm -hmm. It's almost extinct mm -hmm. for, for a very long time. The Algarvians kind of discredited this grape completely. It's still a little bit discredited, I have to say. Um, Why is that? Because it's, it's, it's hard to make good wine out of this grape because it doesn't have a lot of color. Mm -hmm. uh, within the same vines, you can have um, bunches that are white and bunches that are red. Yeah. It's, it's a hard grape to work with. But it's actually the only, it's the only place where this wine exists, is, this grape exists, is the Algarve. A little bit in Madeira, Madeira mm -hmm. Islands, mm -hmm. and um, in Spain, southern Spain. Yeah. It's the only, the only three places in the world where, where it exists. And in the 80s, when people sold their vineyards in the sand for construction, this grape was completely exterminated. There were very, very little vineyards who, that had Negra Mall. So, for a very long time, we used to tell my mother, like, can you just take this out and plant something else? Yeah. You know, plant, just replace it with, you know, Toriga Nacional or yeah. Syrah. Or, yeah, yeah. And my mother was always like, no, 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 I want to keep this grape. I want to keep it. It was there. It's been doing well. Let's just keep what, what's there. Yeah. So now after, you know, after kind of the, all the Algarvian wines went downhill, suddenly Negra Mall is is becoming again a grape that's, that reflects the terroir, reflects mm -hmm. this place. Yeah. So I think that's really what, when, when I drink this wine, it, to me it tastes like the Algarve. This is a, what an Algarvian wine should taste like. What a nice statement to be in the video. Hmm? That's a, a great <laughs> yeah. statement to have in the video. It's my favorite, I think it's my favorite. Mm. <laughs> then it's nice because they use plates that are in the family for 200 years. So grandfathers and grand-grand-grandfathers were already eating on these plates. And it's so nice because they, they exist for 200 years. You're used to people wanting maybe a bigger lagerification or whatever. Everything in here has a story, has a whole, also the, the labels in the bottles, everything has a story and it's nice because they tell us the stories of everything and so you spend a good time in here, easily the time pass flying, it's so nice. And even today that it's not sunny, it was lovely to be here, maybe it's even better. So I hope that you are enjoying what I'm showing to you. And it's just a matter of time. And like this, by this amazing huge tree, uh, I finished my video. I hope that you liked it. Thank you very much. It was a short video. Uh, we stayed here for two hours, but looks like it was more because it was so good. Uh, the time passed so fast. Uh, it's good when you are with nice people that we met here. Uh, and we drink these amazing wines and uh, the, the food, the cheeses, everything was so tasty, local. And I hope that you liked it, that you enjoyed. Thank you for staying until the end. Don't forget to, to put comments, to ask me things. It's always a pleasure to talk with you. It was so good, so stay. Um, so thank you very much for that. I'll see you next time. Bye bye, kisses.